the Minolta 16 camera takes 16 millimeter film and the film photography project now sells unperforated, meaning no holes, a variety of 16 millimeter films for the Minolta 16. That's great. And now the new breakthrough, breakthrough is the fact that we now offer the cartridges. So how do you load this? Well, uh, you, you're going to have to do this in a dark film changing bag or in a completely black dark room. Can't have any light coming in the room whatsoever. So you would open up your camera. And the first thing you would do, you want to take and line up the S. The red, you want to line up the red S to the red line so that you can know how many exposures you've taken once, once you load it. And then you would load the camera here on the bottom. And the way that the way the camera advances the film is this gear here. So that when the camera is engaged, let's say the cartridge was in. Oh, ho, ho! so then here's your shutter button. So you would advance the picture by doing this. And that turns that little gear. And then you'd look at your counter. It's at S. And you would just, you know, just like your regular, any other camera, you just... Just like regular chicken. <laughs> you just advance it a few shots until you get to... And it counts down from, from 20. Here. So the cartridge, here's the gear. And if you look in the cartridge, I don't know if you can see it. Inside here is basically... Turn it towards the light. Where the gear engages. So this fits in here like so. F-I-T-Z fits. So here's the gear that turns. And so what you want to do is take your film. You open it up. On this side is where uh, all your film will be. And this gear will turn and start taking up your film. So you want to take your roll, you want to take your strip of film, and you want to roll it into a little tight roll. And this can be very trying in the dark. So that's why you have to just be cool and calm. You can't be all nervous and jerky because you're just going to get upset. <laughs> So you want to you want to roll this into a little ball. <laughs> then this roll goes into this side of the film cartridge. There it is, all there. It's, it's in, and you want to have a piece of tape on the one side of your film, and you want to attach it to this little hub and then you oh, make sure this doesn't pop out because then you'll just be like a jack in the box and then you put this on the other side Let's see the big problem is. Okay, you can see there's little slits here it's amazing right yeah hold it still see that's a little slit there so yeah now take this slide the film in between the slit yep No, it's in. But I did a bad job. See that? So now I gotta. You gotta take up. It's not gonna take up because that, the tape got all like um, not so nice. So you can make mistakes, and you you can't you can't sweat it. You gotta just you know take your time. Even though I can't see with your big gorilla fingers blocking the way. There we go. Uh. Look at that. Then you take your cap. Owl cap. <laughs> Owl cap. Put the cap on. There you have it. And now you put this into your camera. 
if it doesn't fit flush in the camera, yeah, see, man. yeah, you see, <laughs> see the way this is just. So you're like, okay, that's not so good. So you take it back out. And what it is is the gear in here has to be lined up. Oh. So you just have to go in there and just turn it a little bit. Just turn it a little bit and, you know, it'll it'll go. You can do this in the light now. Yes, yeah, so you can do this in the light. Oh, there it goes. It's in. Nice. Jackpot. Jackpot. 